Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein, inventor of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. I want to talk to you about the formulation for tumescent local anesthesia solutions. Tumescent local anesthesia can, can be formulated with lidocaine and epinephrine. Occasionally, at very low doses, bupivacaine can be added to this for small surgical procedures where bupivacaine does not exceed 50% of the normal dosages. For large volume tumescent lidocaine, we use only lidocaine and the, the, the formulation involves one gram of lidocaine, one milligram of epinephrine, and 10 milliequivalents of sodium bicarbonate per liter bag of saline. I want to caution you when you're using this formulation or communicating the formulation to other members of the surgical team that all dosages should be specified, specified in terms of milligrams. So you would say, for example, 1,000 milligrams of lidocaine, 1 milligram of epinephrine, and 10 mil equivalents of sodium bicarbonate. I would advise you to avoid ever giving orders for a tumescent local anesthesia in terms of milliliters of solution. For example, do not say 100 milliliters of, of lidocaine at 1% because you do not know how many milligrams are in that liter, that, that formulation. So you need, rather than saying 100 milliliters of 1% lidocaine, you must say 1,000 1, milligrams of lidocaine. It's much more specific and you can avoid overdosages. The problem will occur if someone uses a 2% vial of lidocaine rather than a 1% vial of lidocaine. Also, uh, I think you need to be very careful uh, to uh, only use normal saline, even for small tumescent anesthesia procedures, for example, excision of, of a skin cancer, one can use tumescent anesthesia, but small volumes. Uh, do not use bacteriostatic saline. Bacteriostatic saline contains 1% benzyl alcohol, which is highly irritating, if not toxic, to subcutaneous tissues in, when injected in large volumes. So only use normal saline, 0.9% saline without any uh, bacteriostatic properties. By carefully following these instructions and only giving orders in terms of milligrams of drugs rather than milliliters of drugs, you will avoid the potential problem of overdosage. This concludes this video presentation. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. If you should like some more academic information about tumescent lidocaine anesthesia, go to tumescent.org. If you'd like information about the surgical devices and tumescent infiltration equipment, go to hksurgical.com. Thanks.